Let me tell that we are, oh my gosh, guys, zoom, 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 make my heart go boom, boom. I don't know why I crossed my eyes. <laughs> and that, that was not a good look. I loved it. Do it always. All right, all right. <laughs> guys, <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much. I think it is live on the interwebs. Um, guys, welcome to Fruit Fly. Don't bother me. Um, I was thinking about not keeping my laptop on my knees because I'm shaking the shakers over here, but I really like it because it looks like I'm always in an earthquake. <laughs> so it's nice. <laughs> it's really sweet. Like what is happening? Ah! It's just crazy. Um, welcome to Fruit Fly, Don't Bother Me. Uh, this is a lovely co-host, Hannah Howard. How are you doing, Hannah? I'm doing good. I'm on gin number two. Gin number two, yes. I am on um, bowl number two. We're just going to say that. Uh, oh. It could be a bowl of ramen. Who knows? <laughs> it could be. It could be a bowl, a bowl of soup. It could be. It could be a bowl of ice cream. It could be a bowl of cereal. It yeah. could be a bowl of weed. <laughs> We just uh, don't know. You just don't know. Give me anything. Um, but yeah, tonight we are going to, we missed uh, last week. So, so sorry. So, 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 so sorry. Um, we love you guys for watching the show. If you are watching, please feel free to comment below so we can interact with you during the show. Also, feel free to share this post. Go ahead, share it on your page. Tell your mom to share it. We messaged our moms. So they'll we text our moms before the show even begins. Yeah, we don't care. They are our biggest tippers and fans. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm relying on your mother tonight. Um, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've got kids to feed. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but we wanted to uh, bring up, We this is a show where we talk about the uh, most Google topics from the week before, and we just talk-ish about it, okay? Um, some of us know stuff about it. Some of us don't. Um, some of us know a lot about it. At the same time, it's a give and take each week. You never really know what you get till you get here. So what, you get me with a beret on <laughs> and a little red and pirate Hannah. Oh my God, pirate Hannah. I know. I was for <laughs> like mysterious, like spy outfits. You know what I mean? And I, I mean, like, you just made me a pirate. No, whatever. I just made it look like you had like, you know, some corneal problem. You know what I mean? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Like, about a corn, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. It was the Iowa in me. I'm just all about corn and corny. Mm. <laughs> it's like, uh, um, we are going to talk to you guys about three lovely ladies. Um, yeah, I think it's girls night. It is girls night. Who run the world? Squirrels. Girls. Um, <laughs> it's crazy. Can you imagine? Okay, but before we go into anything, and we yes. have to talk about Facebook and the lifetime drama that unfolded yesterday. It's, I don't even think it's 24 hours old. Yeah. Uh, Jason Collier, if yeah, you the are new Tiger King. he's our new Tiger King, something yeah. to get us through 2021, because who knows what shit storm was going to happen for us. He's going to be the guy that we talk about next year. That's like, remember Jason? So Jason Collier, we learned mm -hmm. of him yesterday because the city of Stenton, Texas. some cute little town near Abilene uh -huh. um hire him as their police chief and their Facebook page made the official announcement yeah. here's Jason he's our new police chief get to know him he's married yeah. he's got four kids and he's a good dude so then his fiance was like no he's not married he's in divorced and engaged to me to which then another woman came on and said no no he's engaged to me so now we're like oh my god he's married and engaged and engaged and then yeah it just spiraled out of control and several several other women came forward and said we're in a full-blown relationship and he told me he loved me in fact we went on this vacation last weekend here are the pictures and screenshots and uh, we've officially lost count i think he's got like 14 girlfriends Shut up. What a Tiger Woods of this show. Oh, just a good, okay. So he, I have a lot of thoughts. So Jason, Jason used to be a big hefty man. I, yeah. you know, I love a good hefty man. There's nothing no, he against doesn't. that, but he's lost probably 90 to a hundred pounds. Whoa. That's a whole that ass little cheerleader. It's like a whole ass person. He like yeah. shedded that. And Whoa. I think that he like found this new found 
um, confidence and decided to just try it out, even though he was married and had children. No, so yeah, yeah, yeah. he got skinny and hot. And yep. he got on all the dating apps. I know this because there's several screenshots Whoa. of him on dating apps. And they straight up, like, like he traps these women. He is a full-blown narcissist. Yeah. He sends them all of these. Yes, Brittany, she just commented. She gets it. Hey, hey, Brittany, <laughs> we need to talk about Jason Collier. So he... Yeah, like has several girlfriends now there is a facebook group i'm in it everybody join it it's jason collier netflix special it's not a real thing there's no netflix but you know the same people who did the don't fuck with cats documentary that oh my god out? so life touching Ugh. Like, that's what we need to do for Jason and his mistresses. I don't know why he's not Mormon and just has eight wives. Like, what? So he got arrested today. Oh, God, no. Because he falsified an annulment to prove to fiance number one that he was, in fact, divorced. So he forged his wife's signature on a yeah. fake annulment document <laughs> and sent it to his fiance, one of his fiances, yeah. who then was like, um, this is fake because it's so obvious. Yeah. And so now he's in trouble for falsifying government documents. No, and that's a whole he already level. is on administrative leave as police chief. So as soon as he got the job, he lost it. And Whoa. his whole life is crumbling and it's beautiful. I love it when narcissists lose. Oh my God. Yay. Um, that was a whole mouthful. The thing is, it's like, I know so many, uh, I just, so many uh, guys look uh, down on women who like, uh, if this was a woman who did this, it would be so much more, it would have been like seen right away. It wouldn't have taken, do you know what I mean? It wouldn't have. Okay. But also in the same thing, you're onto something because these women that came forward are like under attack. There's a no, really? bunch of people that are coming after these women and saying, how dare you exploit this man? What did he do? And I'm like, he's trying to be fucking police chief. He tried to part my Red Sea, sweetheart. He tried to get in. I'm like, this man should not be the leader of a Toys R Us. Like, no. <laughs> may they rest in peace. Like, yes, he, little baby pieces, Polly Pockets everywhere. Yeah, like I, like, I don't understand why we're mad at the women. We need to be absolutely mad at the liar, narcissistic man who thinks that he can run a city. No, yeah, that's a little wild. Cheers uh, to that. Yeah, cheers to that. Um, since we're in a, an, an aggressive tone, I don't know enough about that story, but a story I do know about um, recently in the Googs, on the Googies, um, there was uh, a story about um, all the people that were singing at the inauguration, um, all celebrities that were going to be there, whatever was televised for the president. Um, and so Demi Lovato is listed as one of the people that was part of um, the inauguration and everything. So, kittens. Um, Demi Lovato has been in the news for a lot of things, um, specifically her uh, rehabilitating from drug use, which is as an addict, as someone who knows from that experience, that's something that's like a lifelong thing that you're always going to have to deal with. Uh, there's going to be setbacks, there's going to be forwards, but uh, it has lined up really shitty for her, to be honest, because she made that whole uh, Netflix series where it was um, talking about recovery. Um, and then that released right onto Netflix. This was a couple of years ago. And then you find out that she's hospitalized for- She relapsed. Yeah, yes. And it's um, it just was bad. It was bad timing for everything in her career. It really set yeah. her because here she is trying to be positive about something and make her way through the struggle that is addiction. And then to have, um, you know, it all just kind of crumble and like that be the platform that she's last, you know, well seen for. Um, well, I had, I, I had a big heart. I still have a big heart, but, um, a couple of years ago, uh, before all of this happened, I had met her in a club in Los Angeles. This was a gay club. Okay. It's called 11 at the time. I think it's a country Western bar now. Uh, but they, there was this top floor and this night there were only like certain people that were allowed up there. They weren't letting everyone up there. Okay. So she was up there and I had just, uh, done the voice and so I was up there just like drinking minding my own business okay she walks by I see her I say oh my god I just want to let you know like that I think your music is really great and I think the message that you like are putting out into the world is like really sweet. well 
he literally just like looked at me and was like, and then just walked away. <sighs> it could have, you could have said it. say a word. You could say a word at all. And I was like, honestly, I wasn't even like, I was drunk. So I was feeling like, you know, a little spicy. So that's why I just went up to a random person that I normally wouldn't go up to. Maybe but. she was not sober. Roll the footage, <laughs> roll the footage. <laughs> no, um, yeah, no one, no, I mean, it, it makes sense because no one would act like that if someone was just giving them a compliment. So I'm going to give her the Ben of the doubt and uh, say that she was probably just going through that dark time that she didn't, she was having a hard time to get through by herself. So she's done. Yeah, if you listen to what she says about like her team, you know, she had like a team, like an entourage and her managers and everybody. Yeah. They kept her on such a strict diet and she was going through an eating disorder at the time. They did not give two shits. They just wanted her to be thin and successful. Yeah. And it wasn't about her sobriety. It was about like what makes them money. No, yeah, and yeah. So she eventually dropped every single one of them, which is good. Yeah. And now I think she looks incredible. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to name, name drop. So um, her, okay. So uh -huh. Clinton, my husband, Clinton's mom was a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader back in the eighties. Okay. okay. Demi's mom was on the squad with Clinton's mom at the same okay. time. And so they were like really close and still to this day, extremely close. Yeah. And um, so every once in a while we get like the little rundown of how Demi is when she kind of started to make it big in Disney yeah. her mom wanted to pull her out of school and so she called my mother-in-law and was like how do you homeschool tell me all the deeds like what do I need to do and she ended up getting her kids with Cindy my mother-in-law's kids so my husband and they like kind of grew up together for a little bit there and did some fun things and they like watched Demi get her big break with Disney and go yep. big and it was really cool so I, I kind of have like a personal tie to the whole family she yeah. like she's seen pictures of my children and she loves them like that's where we're at no yeah I'm yeah famous. She <laughs> Her, um, her sister was a PA on The Voice my season. Dallas? Jenna Schubert, uh, Demi's sister, was like a, it's like her, I think it's like through a different marriage, like Demi's mom got remarried or something. Well, her name's Jenna Schubert. <laughs> Shout oh. out. She got married. Um, and Demi was like one of her bridesmaids. So like I've seen oh. Demi just casually pop up on my Facebook feed too, so. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm. No big deal. Like real pictures. You know what I mean? Like real pictures. Just, I mean, I haven't met her. Yeah. No, but yeah. I got a um, picture like, of my husband and her when they were like teenagers. Yeah. Does that count? He's like, this is my girlfriend. Um, Perry, thank you. I don't know why you love watching these. I don't know. I don't know why you do like watching these. Uh Demi did the same pageant system as you. Oh, okay, that's cool. I would, I think if I was in a pageant. Okay, do you guys want to hear my pageant? Uh, like, this is my pageant when I walk on stage. Yes. Okay, I don't want to tell you anything about, like, the backstory. I think you'll get it. Oh, let me get this right. Are you ready? Mm hmm Hello, I'm contestant number 16, and my name is Mary Lou, and I might not have a degree in pre-law, but my dad currently resides in cell block 216. <laughs> <laughs> That one's good, right? Brilliant. It's really good. I think that it would give people, let me know down below if you guys thought that that was a pretty good pageant. Like if she would win, I think she would win. That's Miss Texas right there. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. America, peace and love. <laughs> you know what I mean? And raffles. And fucking raffles. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why people in Texas I really- I love it. Okay, guns. so are we moving on from Demi? We're going to move on from Demi. Uh, we're going to move on to the big guns of the night. We added this one in this week because um, she is popular on the social medias right now because she um, basically on uh, Twitter, she had slowly throughout the week come out to her fans. Um, she had one picture where she was basically, uh, it was a picture of a t-shirt that said uh, best gay cousin ever. And she's yeah. like, this t-shirt I just got from my cousin. And it was like her easy way without having to have like a big speech about her being gay um I'm not surprised that she's gay she's always been kind of like 
the sporty spice of the dance mom's kids. So I kind of, yeah, they're kind of like, I wasn't surprised. My daughter really loves Jojo and we like, we buy into all the merch. We've got all the bows. We've got all the shoes and all the sequins. I I love it. And I was not surprised. No, yeah. I love that. She's kind of just been uh, her house. If you've seen her house on any of her YouTube videos, it just looks like a gay candy factory. Yeah. It's just a rainbow lesbian war. Rainbow. Like she loves it. She is just a sister for it. With all the with the rest of us, she yeah, is, yeah. I'm proud Love of that journey for her. An awesome thing, and it's hard for a uh, congratulations. Uh, Perry says to JoJo Siwa, if you're watching this, congratulations. Um, Congrats, JoJo, on your new coming yeah. out life. No, but I watch a lot of JoJo does a lot of collabs with people on YouTube, so I've seen her on a lot of people's like makeup pages, and she hates getting her makeup done. She hates it she likes she likes doing her like own little like childlike makeup but she hates being like glammed up that's hilarious yeah she hates it but she looks really pretty when she's like super glammed up i just i'm gonna gonna shout out my friend nicole who's watching she says hey ashley witherspoon ashley witherspoon went to high school with hot with hannah yes Yes, and I made out with her when I was in like eighth grade. <laughs> what is she watching? She is watching Ashley Witherspoon. <laughs> She's <laughs> totally watching. I, have- I always forget that, like Nick. Okay, so you graduated the same year that I did in yes. the same district, but two different high schools. Yeah, but uh, we were both really ridiculous theater nerds and so we ran in a lot of the same circles but uh-huh. we never actually met until last year two years yeah. ago yeah um it's funny but yeah. we have a lot of mutual friends in the theater high school world and that's ashley went to my high school she was the she was an orc dork and orc yeah dork she dad. was she um her dad also plays um the violin i believe um they are both his, their whole family is crazy talented i love her mom her love mom. that Oh my God, I love them. And then, uh, do you remember Karen Watts from your high school? Uh, Karen, okay. <laughs> Karen was like super quiet in school and I Ashley, loved her. Hi, hi she Ashley. Was so sweet. Hi, Ashley. Karen was so sweet. And it wasn't until like, I want to say 12 years after we graduated, I was at a bar and yeah. she was there meeting a date and she was wasted. No, and my her, God, and love- she sent her date home because he was boring. And I so love- she and I ended up like getting dry together at the bar. And it was just a magical night. No, Karen I is- I love um, Karen. If you like story time with me and Hannah, just go ahead and visit any of our social medias and donate to our Venmos. We want to keep doing this. Um, no, but uh, honestly, Karen is so funny. She is one of those people that when she gets drunk, she gets like so- more she gets another level so sassy she's so sassy I mean, it's so funny I but mean. sassy mcsassersons we're speaking of um have you seen rupaul's drag race i don't watch it i'm gonna be honest with you okay go fucking kill yourself i um, know I, I get that i i i am so i i understand i'm sorry please don't do that please don't do that uh no well on this past season of canada's drag race there was a uh, contestant, they do this episode called the, uh, the Snatch Game. And it's similar to the old match game uh, where like uh, contestants try to, uh, they get a scenario, they're like, dumb Dee Dee is so dumb, she blanks, the blah, 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 you know what I mean? And so the contestants will try to guess the word that the celebrities are like thinking. Um, and so it was a really popular game in like the 70s and 80s. And so on the RuPaul's Drag Race, the contestants dress up as their best celebrity impersonation. Uh huh. This year on Canada's Drag Race, somebody did JoJo Siwa. <laughs> no. Yes, and it was really good. They're like, "How are you going to deliver it?" And she's like, "There's just so much material. Like, she can't pronounce her R's. She's like, <laughs> it was just like really funny." And they're like, "Um, yeah." They were like, just talking to her, and she's. It was just hilarious. I'm sorry, I, I can't that. get all my words together right now. I'm just no, like, no, it's fine. I was also uh, texting my husband instructions on how to make me another gin martini because I'm. Oh my god, what a gentleman! Oh my god, he does that for you. My fiance <sighs> wants to stop by the he's, gas station for me. Just real quick, 
Okay, people so need to stop says. by the fucking gas station. We're getting married in three months, sis. sis. I know you asked for me to RSVP, sis. I don't know if I can go. I know, You're I know, I know, in a I know. State. I know. Everyone, it's um, in a panorama. In a panorama. In a Patricia. No, we um. Okay, so we, me and my fiance, we're getting married. Like, hey um in my hometown in Davenport Iowa okay Davenport Iowa is uh a part of the quad cities okay what are the quad cities let me tell you it is two cities in Iowa and two cities in Illinois that make up the quad cities because it's not big enough to be like really anything on its own so it's one of the only places in the United States that you can technically be in two states at the same time because it's they're all lumped together um, also let me give you the breakdown so the wedding's happening. Everyone's staying in this beautiful mansion, the Redwick Mansion. Go look it up. It looks like a haunted, like haunted house type feel. It's so cute. I love I, it. I know. Well, your save the date was precious. It was cute. We're just like in a field. Like, we will love, love it. The light. Love it. I think it's, it's up. I have it on display in my front room. It's like the right by my front door. People get like hit with the gaze when they walk in. I right in. It. The gays. Wait, is this yeah. a misprint? Their middle name is the same too? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. It's so that's not a misprint, sir. Sick of, I can't wait to not answer that question for the rest of my life. It's gonna happen. Oh God, but, um, right. If the cool thing is, is we're having my bachelor party there and it's the night before, like a traditional wedding. So and you're gonna be hungover on your wedding day? My wedding day, we are the wedding's not till five o'clock. Okay, but still. I can sleep until like two. I know. I, I and I will be fine. hungover. I'm just, well, I, I guess always... for women it's different because we. It doesn't matter what time we get married. We have to wake up at five a.m. to start the no, process. Yeah. You know how long it took me to put this makeup on my face tonight? Um, <laughs> uh, not long at all, sis. I just add a little bit on because you gotta. When the ring lights out, you just gotta cover up imperfections. You just. Mm. Don't. Well, the, when we have our bachelor party, the uh, clubs or the bars close in Iowa at two o'clock. Well, it's just five minute drive over the bridge to get to Illinois and theirs are open until three. <laughs> oh, well, hell yeah. I know. And um, the lovely, again, God left us. Um, uh, it's an anxiety medicine for myself, uh, the marijuana. <laughs> it, mm -hmm. uh, it's legal mm -hmm. over there. So I don't know if I'm going to dabble in it. Probably, maybe. I mean, of course, with it's along like, with your bowls of ramen yeah. and cereal, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to get in a, I'm just going to, I'm not going to have any problems. My fiance, I can't wait till the day of the wedding. I just can't <laughs> over it. It's a lot of planning. You I can't wait for you guys to just be married. I'm over it. Do you know how much I hate planning a wedding? Anybody? Yeah. Tell me if you planned a wedding, what were your least favorite moments? You know what mine were? Pretty much all of it. I just all of it. I just want to get married. I just want to just be there. You know what I mean? Yeah. I hate it. It's like telling a kid that you bought them a trip to Disney World and then you're like, oh, but it's in three months. So you guys can't go yet. Right. Why did you tell me? That's how I feel. I totally feel you. Those people would have hid it from me. What else do you have to talk about, Hannah Bananas? Okay, so I was going to mention Olivia Rodrigo because yes, I forgot we needed to she's talk about like her yet. number one in all the charts right now. And yeah. I am um, being a millennial during a panorama, I have also downloaded TikTok and that's all I do now. So everybody, everybody on TikTok is using the driver's license song and talking about Olivia Rodrigo. Thank yeah. You so much You're welcome. she's so cute too she's like so adorable and just like ugh. so olivia is adorable i looked her up because i thought there is a lot of people who became famous during the pandemic because they were on tiktok and they wrote a cute song i yeah. thought she was one of those she's not she's yeah. actually from disney she was on a show uh bizarre vark on the disney channel and she was on there for a few seasons, but what really made her kind of launch into this new level of fame is that she's on the Disney Plus series High School Musical. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have seen it then, yeah. Okay, so it premiered this year during the panorama. So mm -hmm. she wrote this song, <clears throat> COVID, sorry. 
Oh yeah, it'll get you, sis. <laughs> it'll get you. It'll get you. Get a respirator. <clears throat> so she wrote the song, and it's actually brilliant. I uh, I am 32 years old, and I'm like screaming to this song while I'm driving. Like I don't know how anyone else feels. I don't like. I feel like I'm a little immature for falling in love with this song because it's literally about a girl who driver's license. Yeah. getting her driver's license and then she, like can't married. drive by her ex-boyfriend's house and i'm like 16 girl you'll be fine but meanwhile it's so good she's so talented i no expect huge things from her i mean like i think we're gonna have like adele level albums from this girl at some oh point. really that's how I feel. I she's I extremely love. talented, and if she's this is talented. the kind of shit that she's so northern, shit at sixteen, that, that was such a northern accent you just did. She's so talented. Talented. I'm talented. sorry. Jen Martini, number three. Oh, to get you. No, the thing that I love about her. Okay, the only thing I don't like about the song, I jammed to the song too. Um, I uh, a, it has a very Lord essence to it. Once it gets oh. to the 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 like the bridge, like the main end of the song, where mm -hmm. it has a different backbeat, it has a very Lord feel to it. Mm -hmm. That I dislike about the song is, I, and maybe it's just I have to keep listening to it over and over again, and it's it's just it seems unnatural to me. The digression of her last, um, the I drive alone past your street, that whole like the way the melody is on that. I'm not a big fan, but uh, but I think it's perfect. I think she's brilliant. She's great. She is great. She's really, 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 really great. She's, I don't, Adele Brills yet. I don't. Comment down below. Is Nick right or is Hannah right? I think she's brilliant. I think she's way ahead of her time. Uh, and a uh, much like Lord, that's a good comparison because she was a teenager as well. Yeah. And she came out with her album that just was fire. And, and we haven't seen her since yeah she's done like no. one thing since and I, which at some part i'm like you know what girl get it make your schmillions you live on a yeah, fucking a iceland or whatever like <laughs> what are you gonna spend your money on so get it ice. Girl. And this, for ice. <laughs> yeah so olivia's got disney money and now she's got spotify money like get it girl but also make another album because i want like all of this no, yeah, yeah, she's um, she'll get there and she will she will have something like out that is substantial. I think her voice is really cool. I think the way she writes is very unique, and her yeah, her tone of her voice is like something that I really enjoy. But yes. who hasn't put out an album in a while that I've been like, why? Maybe because they're wrapped up in their Fenty beauty, but Rihanna. Oh shit! Like when oh, busy. I miss it. I miss all of her songs. Her Savage Affinity line is just killing it. I have a friend who uh, is a, a photographer for the Savage Affinity Live mm -hmm. and in LA, and he is just like so fucking busy. I, I legit think that she's just focusing 100% of her time on that. Yeah, but if Rihanna, if you're out there, please come back. <laughs> you know, she's watching along with Jojo Siwa. Yes, Jojo Siwa and Rihanna are creating a bow collection right now. They are just like, they're bowing it up. Um, it's like lace and like. Oh my God, S &S themed. Yes. Oh my God. Could you imagine like a bow, but with like handcuffs on the bow? Oh, I would wear that shit. I wouldn't put it on my children, but I would wear it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let them wear it for like, you know, just look at me. I'm a pirate. Look at me. I'm an artist. <laughs> I know how to paint stuff. I painted the backgrounds. Yeah. Look One at this shit that you made. <laughs> You're an artist. I did. I did all of it. Um, I just want to thank everybody for watching tonight. I am going to go uh, to the store and get a new e-cigarette because I'm, I quit smoking, but um, I need more. You did? I quit smoking in the new year. I quit smoking cigarettes, yeah. I'm sorry. It is what the 28th, and I'm just now realizing that yeah, you I haven't had a cigarette. cigarette. I haven't had one cigarette since the new year. Well, that explains your two bowls of cereal. Oh my god, those bowls of cereal—they really hit different sometimes. It's like a—it's just a nice aroma. I love it. But um, as I go eat my two bowls of cereal, I just want to 
Uh, personally, uh, we have to sign off. I'm going to sign off with this today. Oh, don't think you're going to get it. Okay, one, two, three. Come back. Time, guys. Come back and see us next week where we talk about who fucking knows because Google hasn't picked those topics yet. It's just never ending. It isn't. It's never tell us, tell us what we should talk about next. We'll talk shit about it. Yeah, and we'll remember, well, like I said earlier, is remember. <laughs> God bless. If you want to help me fix my <laughs> if you want to help me fix my speech impediment, please <laughs> down below and help me and donate to Venmo. I officially changed all my screen names to be the same. Yes, she finally, she wised up. Now our little uh, entrance things look really cute. So now my Instagram, Venmo, and Cash App are all the same. Mrs. It's Hannah crazy. Howard. It's so easy. $5 goes a long way, people. Jen is expensive. But also, we have decided as of this evening to kind of upgrade our show. And yes. um, your tips can, can contribute towards that because we have a lot to say and I think a lot of people have fun with us. Yeah, it's, it's a nice, uh, people said, oh, I don't even know why I'm watching this. And I was like, oh, I'm offended, but uh, they just keep watching it. So yeah. honestly, I think it's because we're just two train wrecks of people. And yeah. I love about us, I love that. Love that. Uh, please tune in next week. Uh, Hannah, have a wonderful night. Get crazy drunk. Love you. Love you.